Well, happy Friday, everyone. I'm Chris Brown, and it's time for your Week in Review from ClarkCountyToday.com. I'm going to start with the sentencing of 19-year-old Taylor Smith, who became infamous last August when she shoved Jordan Holgerson from the Moulton Falls Bridge into the Lewis River 52 feet below. The 16-year-old suffered broken ribs, punctured lungs, severe bruising, and a badly injured shoulder in the fall. Smith initially pleaded not guilty to reckless endangerment, but changed her plea after reaching a deal last week. On Wednesday, Smith was sentenced to 40 days, including two days in jail and 38 on a work crew, as well as a two-year probation during which she can't have any contact with Holgerson or her family. Now 17, Holgerson says the incident may keep her from playing softball in college, and has led to PTSD-like symptoms for which she needs treatment. On Thursday, members of controversial Second Amendment group Patriot Prayer crowded Battleground City Council chambers to defend their right to gather this weekend at Kiwanis Park. A group called United BG appealed the city's decision to issue a park permit, saying it hadn't taken public safety into account. Ultimately, City Manager Aaron Erdman said the appeal fell short and the permit would be upheld. Patriot Prayer leader Joey Gibson had told city officials his group would gather at the park on Sunday with or without that permit. In the ever-evolving story of Yakult Mountain Quarry, there is now a new venue of discussion. The county began hosting a forum of community members, county experts, and the mine operator last week. Now, so far, issues relating to mining noise, possible air and water pollution, and alleged dangerous truck traffic were highlighted during the meeting. The possibility of installing cameras at the quarry site was proposed by County Public Works Director Amit Kiyami and County Community Planning Director Mitch Nichols offered insight into future action via the forum and County Council. The next forum meeting will be after spring break. Vancouver Mayor Ann McInerney Ogle delivered her second State of the City address on Thursday, highlighting the city's rapid growth and economic opportunities while also highlighting the many challenges that face the state's second fastest growing metro area. Homelessness and a lack of funding are the main obstacles. McInerney Ogle also highlighted the recently opened Vancouver Waterfront Park and other major developments such as Section 30 on the east side and the planned redevelopment of the Tower Mall site along Mill Plain. In sports, Christian Swain, who resigned as the head football coach at Columbia River earlier this year, decided to stay in Vancouver after all and is now the head coach at Evergreen. Swain said the first order of business is character and community service. That, he said, is how to build a football team. But he doesn't have a timeline for turning around the program win-loss-wise, but if players and coaches do things the right way, Swain says, the scoreboard will take care of itself. And in basketball news, the Prairie Falcons will be without a fourth starter when they try to defend their state championship in girls basketball next year. Already graduating three seniors this spring, the team learned that Kendall Carson, a junior, is expected to move to Alaska for her senior year. Carson was noted by Scorebook Live as one of the top returning players in Washington. Now it looks like she won't be returning. I believe one official returning starter for Prairie, but coach Hala Coral says she feels she has three returning starters because she says her top two off the bench this past season could start for any other team in the county. There's a quick look at just some of the stories we're following for you this week. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to see when stories are posted. And of course, be part of the conversation and you can always send your story ideas via email, news at clarkcountytoday.com. For all of us at ClarkCountyToday.com, I'm Chris Brown. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.